Oh my gosh. That's a good one too, I think. How you doing? Yeah, we just got a call. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, you guys know we went down to Orlando, Florida. We actually just left there this morning, headed over to Jacksonville on our way back to Georgia, and we we're about to hit some ponds today. Not only are we about to hit some ponds, but we're about to film a top water video and see if these fish will come up and eat it. We'll probably throw a couple other different baits just in case, you know, the top water bite's not insane because I do want to show you guys some big fish today. But we are going to throw a top water a good bit, hope for some really good top water bites, and also chuck around a few different baits and see if we can catch some really big bass. If you guys enjoy the pond videos and you have some ideas that we could mix in with the pond videos, let me know in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate it. But, got my boy A-Dub. Yo, A-Dub. What's up, dude? What's good, bro? I'm tackle digging right now, bro. Tackle what digging. What you think you're gonna throw? Honestly, I have no idea. It's been a long time since we've been here, so. I don't know, last time they were schooling when we were here, so. If they're schooling, might have to throw something like this, or maybe a top water, but, uh, I don't know, kind of want to catch one of the big swim bait today, man. Then we got old Cody over here. What's good, bro? What's going on? How you doing? How's, how's life going today, man? It's going good, man. It's, it's going good. Bunch of car riding, road tripping, you know. Now we're here, though. Just the use. So let me show you guys exactly what top water I'm going to throw, the baits that we're throwing, the rods I'm going to be throwing it on, and uh, show you guys the whole rig up process, and we're going to get out there and hopefully slay some really big fish. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So I have this little popper box, which I'll show you. Show you what we got in here. I'll show you the different colors that we got which ones we're going to be picking out why i'm throwing it so you open it up you got it's like a little sexy shad color pretty basic we got some chrome poppers you got this like natural translucent color some more of the sexy shad ones some more sexy shad ones right here and then we got like a white one with a green top i think today you know chrome top water in the sun's really good but to be honest one of the last times that we came to this pond in particular like this one right here it's a little natural color it's got like some gold yellowish on the front it's got like a green back purple side and it's got more of a translucent body and i think this is the one that we're going to end up rolling with today i think it's going to kill it it's by striking by the way nice little popper so we're going to tie this one on i'll show you the combo that i'm putting it on this is the rod right here it's actually a mach 2 reel on a mach 2 rod and if you guys are wondering why i have this walking bait on this is actually from this bear mundy and I had to bend the barbs out on this bait. So yeah, we're gonna be cutting that off. And then we have like some 50 pound liter line right here. It's tied onto that braid. That was when we were fishing for this bear Monday. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's a freaking crazy video, guys. I mean, it that was the craziest fishing experience of my life. We're gonna cut that leader line off. because we don't need that. Go ahead and cut it off the bait just so it's not on there. Boom. We are rigging this up on braid. I have a lot of you guys ask. I, I only throw my top orders on braid. You know, braid floats. You have mono, but I'm not a big fan of mono. I've always throw my top orders on braid. Get that further cast too, that really smooth, clean, far cast. Tiny little uni knot. Boom. Center on down. Cut our tag end off. There we go, got a little popper on our Mach 2. So that setup is ready to go. Like I said, I am gonna throw something else if that top water bite's just not on. And uh, the bait that I am gonna throw is on a Custom Pro Mach 2 rod, 17 pound fluorocarbon. And this is just a half ounce chatter donk right here in white. We got a white blade minnow on there by Strike King. We talked about that in one of the recent episodes as well. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be the other bait of choice. And this is definitely my favorite bait to catch big bass in ponds. So let's go ahead and grab these rods and uh, let's get out to the pond, see what we can do today. Alrighty, we're about to get it started. So we got the chatter donk, we got the popper. I'm gonna start off with the popper just because, you know, I would like to get on a really good top order bite today. So we're gonna start casting. I do apologize, it is a little windy today. We cannot get away from the wind. I don't know what, is, what it is, but it has been so windy and, and just brutal every time we go fishing. Oh, 
Holy cow, I can cast this thing a mile, dude. Right in that shade. That should be money, dude. There's still some of it right there. Yeah, it's not thick like it used to be. Oh my gosh. That's a good one too, I think. He doesn't feel big. Oh yeah, that's a big one, dude. Dude, that's a freaking tank, boy. Look at that. Let me rinse him off. He's got, I had to flop him out, dude. I got so excited. There we go, guys. That is a beautiful fish to start off the day. I was starting to get nervous there for a second. I was like, man, you know, this grass with it being killed off, I was like, this bite's gonna be very tough. Then we catch a high three pounder. Freaking thick as can be, too. He's trying, he's really aggressive. He's trying to shake on me. Chill. See how fat his stomach is? It's a freaking good fish. Man, start off the day with one like that, that is the best feeling in the world. Right there, destroyed that popper. Freaking chub, dude, look how fat that stomach is. All right, buddy. Thank you so much for biting. Your beautiful fish, you can tell he's been caught before by his mouth. Let's get you back in the water. You just made my day, buddy. Thank you. That's a tank, dude. That was a tank, Cody, right off the bat, bro. Give me some, let's get it. Guys, that's insane. That is exactly what you want. <laughs> Come out here to catch one like that. And this, this is pretty quick, man. That was like five, 10 minutes in. We just saw some bait popping out there. So I just threw in there real quick. See if we can get another one. Hopefully they start destroying this popper. I'm just glad to see one come up for top water. Yeah, there's a bunch of, bunch of bait popping to the right of me. I'm gonna reel in real quick. We got all this bait just kind of flickering right out there. See if we can get old big girl to come up. We need one bigger than three, four pounds. See if we can get like a five, six pounder today. Throw over by that grass again. That was my first cast by that grass. Could be more over there. I think there'd be more than one fish. I just want to see one go airborne after it. All right, just came around to this other side of the bank. We're gonna work down right here. Got all this grass right here on the edge. So what we're gonna do is throw parallel with it, a little bit off. And we're gonna kind of work our way out. I've seen a lot of bait popping off the bank. So we're gonna throw it up on the edge of the grass at first. Then we'll start kind of throwing our cast a little bit more to the right and figure out where those fish are off the bank. So just threw that top water a few times. Those fish didn't want to come up for it. So now I'm going to get the chatter bait right here, which covers the middle of the water column. If I had a bottom bait, that would be awesome too. But now we're going to chuck this and see if there's actually fish there, but they just don't want to come up for that top water.
That was such a big fish. Oh, that was such a big fish. Gosh, dog, that was such a big fish. He ate it just like a dang big one, too. He didn't even come up really for it. He just sucked that dang thing down. A lot of those big ones, he sucked that thing down. I don't know how he came off. I guess I just didn't have him all the way. How you doing? Going good, how about you? Hey, we just got a call. Uh-huh. We're all fishing, so. Yeah. Are y'all like doing some kind of YouTube? Yeah, we do yeah. some YouTube stuff. That's sweet, yeah, that's sweet. I kind of yeah, figure when I rolled up and I saw y'all. <laughs> yeah, how yeah, we do a lot of fishing and stuff. Right we caught like one. It's a little tough. Yeah. It's just so windy today. I got you. But... Y'all just like pick and choose ponds where to go? And... Yeah, well, we're, we were coming back from Orlando. Okay. So we're, we live in Savannah, Georgia. So oh, okay. we were just stopping by, you. and I know a few people that live in here. Okay. We fish here the last few years, but if we need to leave or anything, we can. I don't, so I don't, I don't think I see any signs that say no fishing or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so. I'm pretty sure y'all have y'all's fishing license. Yeah. So, I mean, as long as you're not, you know, causing a ruckus or anything For like sure. that, then I don't see, you know, issues right now. That's definitely. Um, like I said, they just, somebody just called and just wanted us to check out. So. For sure. Do, yeah. uh, does one of y'all just have a driver's license? Do you have a driver's license? Yeah, I do. I can, let me grab mine real quick. Yeah, no, it's Let it's me just insane. add you to the call, man. And yeah. I'll be right by, right? For sure. I, hey, I appreciate y'all yeah. being cool, man. Yeah. I, I appreciate you being cool. <laughs> Yeah, man, no, like, I, I, honestly, man, I'll, I'll scroll through Facebook sometimes. Yeah. I see some, like, you know, different, you know, vloggers and stuff like that. Yeah. So it, it's sweet, man. Like, I'm, it's nothing against it at all. Like, yeah. I, I tell people all the time, like, I'd much rather people be fishing and stuff like that. Yeah, doing and doing drugs, buying a building, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I'm glad that you understand that. <laughs> that's, that's why we do this, too. I mean, we get, my, my biggest thing is just getting people into fishing and yeah. get them in the outdoors because, I mean, it keeps people out of trouble. Yeah, you know? man, it really I, does. That's why I tell the kids all the time that they'll call in. I'm like, man, why, why are you calling in on these kids, man? It's, let, let them yeah. fish. Rather than some people you know, get, yeah, so but I mean, <clears throat> it's my job. I have to come out here and check it out and just make sure everything's okay. I get so, it, I but, understand. Um, but y'all good to go, man. Y'all, y'all have a good day. You could put him in cuffs, yeah. Is that against like, uh, your I'm, code? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'll probably, yeah. <laughs> you have to ask, you know, yeah. as, much, as much as I would think that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 hey, I understand, man. I understand. But, hey, I appreciate y'all. Yeah, have a good one. Y'all have a good one, man. What was your name? Uh, Kyle. It's Noah. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, yep. nice Give a blessed day. Yep. Well, somebody called the cops on us, but you know, he said we're completely fine. He's like, I know you guys aren't bothering anything. That was one of the coolest cops or sheriffs I've, I've ever seen in my life. Um, so he was really kind and nice. I told him, I was like, yeah, dude, we're out here fishing. And I told him we're filming, you know, or he did ask, didn't he? Yeah. He He's like, are you? The truck. Yeah, I think he noticed the truck. He's like, you guys do YouTube stuff and everything. I was like, yeah. But really nice dude. So I think we're going to stay here a little bit longer. I don't want to frustrate anybody. That's never the intentions. You know, we're just out here trying to do a job and we're driving back to Savannah, you know, stop by a few ponds. So we're going to fish here for a little bit longer and then we might go hit a few other spots that I have in mind um, that we hit, you know, last year had a lot of good fish in it. So we'll throw a few more casts around, see what we can do, maybe catch a big one and then we'll head out to the next pond. Well, guys, I don't know what happened to a lot of these spots, but that it's just bad i don't know it used to be an awesome little hole to come to and then the water like that with it being low and then it looks like it has all these chemicals in it just killed it completely um i had those two bites but that's about it but what i do have is some footage from yesterday me and adub we were out in orlando we were pond hopping we hit like nine ponds and we caught a good bit of fish so we're gonna show that footage right now all right guys so we just got out here got a little Mr. A-Dub. A-Dub, right there. And we're gonna be throwing a chatter dog. This is the place that we just pulled up to. We've never been here before. We're out here in Orlando, Florida, and we just wanted to find some places to come fish at. And this pond is actually super clear. Looks really good. And um, I think we're gonna end up catching some really big bass. We can get on them. The water is just gin clear here. So clear. So clear. And um, Adam's gonna be throwing like a fluke and a frog. Yep. Dude, did you hear that? Yeah. One just blew up, dude. He's oh my god! Did you see that? No, it was a dude, he just blew up on that pad. Yeah. That's what the frog's yeah, take it over there. Take it over there. So Adam's gonna be throwing a fluke and a frog. I'm gonna be throwing this chatter donk. You guys know when I go to ponds, like I just like throwing a chatter donk. If I have to bring one rod, it's probably gonna be a chatter donk, and it can catch big fish. And there's big girls in the ponds like to eat it. So this is the one I'm throwing. It's just like black and blue. 
Got a little natural color swim bait on the back of it. So we're just gonna start casting. See if we can catch some big ones today. And uh, if they're not biting in this pond, we're just gonna move out to another spot. And uh, just kind of pond hop today. Try to find some really big bass. So I hope you guys, oh my God, Adam. I got a giant, dude. You have one on a frog? Oh my God, Adam's got a big one. What is going on? Adam. I mean, they're not big, but they're good, dude. That's a two and a half, that's a high two pounder. Look at that. <laughs> he destroyed that frog, didn't he? Look at that. Heck yeah. Those are two solid two pounders. That was like my first or second. Game. Oh my God. Yo, I was just talking to the camera. I'm like, all right, let's get it started. And don't, don't. I was like, what? Okay. Yeah, he choked this thing. <laughs> That's go. a nice fish. They're not jumping. Those are two. They look big when they were jumping. Yeah, they did. They're so aggressive. I mean, that's a high two pounder. Dude, they were fighting so hard. Yeah, they were. Hey, fish bump me. <laughs> nice. Well, that didn't take long. Adam, look right there, bro. What? Look how clear that water is. I'm swimming so off. Clear. You see that bait fish right there? Look. I don't see it. That's oh, a, yeah. Yeah, it's a bait fish. All right, beautiful fish to start us off. This pond might be some sauce, guys. That's why I love Florida. You know, you just, there's so many ponds in Florida. You never know which ones are good. And this is our first one we picked out today. So, hey man, we might have a lot of fun. So <laughs> let's just start making some more casts and see what we can do. I casted right past those lily pads and boom, it was game over. I saw another boiler right out there, so. He just demolished it out in the middle? Yeah, you were like looking at me when I hook set and then all of a sudden I heard like a big blow up. <laughs> all right guys, it's gonna be fun. So I'll keep you posted. Let's keep on casting. All right guys, this is, this is it right here. All this wind going up right here. You got a bunch of grass and you got a lot of pads. There is going to be fish right here. It might take us a few. Yep, right there. Oh, he came off. Dude, he just slammed it right there. I was just talking about it. I was like, there's gonna be some right here and he just boiled, that, that might've been a good one. I didn't really like stick him though. I never got a hook in him. I'm gonna go to another pond, bro. Well guys, I think we're gonna, we're gonna head out to the next spot. We thought we found the juice for, <laughs> we thought we had the sauce, but I mean, it's not a bad pond. Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely has potential. There's definitely some good fish in here, but we had this two off the bat. We thought it was about to be dumb. Oh, yeah. I thought it was about to be like almost every cast. Yeah. Snapped your rod. No, snap line. Was that a big one? No. How big was he? Oh, so he's actually oh, like. Line's right there. He's pulling my line. Where? Where? You see my line? He's getting pulled in right here. You can see it. You can see it going through the path. Oh, shit. You see it? He has laying on. If I had anything other than a frog, I'd probably hook it. If this wasn't Florida, I'd jump in and get it. Just do it. I can't see it anymore. Oh, that sucks. So it was actually a good one, though. Yeah, like it was a fish that would eat it. I had him hooked up, clearly. He came through that so? Yeah. That was a nasty blow up. I got it all on GoPro too. How did my braid break? I don't know. How does that make any sense? This spot's looking better than anything we fished today. It's got a ton of lily pads. And there's no no fishing signs, so I think we're good. And Adam was just like, yeah, probably because there's no fishing here. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know, I definitely think there's fish in here though. I think there'd have to be fish in here. Oh dude, this place looks so good. So good, dude. Well, let's just start casting, dude. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out in about five minutes. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, it's like pond, pond five. I don't know. I don't know too much around here. It just looks like there should be. Oh, he's a giant, Adam. 
I was about to say, there, there seems like there's a big one in here. He's stuck in the pad, bro. He's not that big, he was stuck in the pad. Oh, I thought I had like an eight pounder. Oh, I mean, that's a good sign, dude. We just pulled up, what, three minutes ago? Yeah. Already got us an all nice bass, so. See you, buddy. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. I knew there'd be one in this corner. He freaking tackled it. It's like pounding off two pounder. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Aggressive little guy. Not big, but nice little fish. Nice. This fish creaming it, man, and they you pull them out of all that grass. That's pretty. Thank you, bud. Got two fish, nothing big. We're gonna keep on traveling, man. I wanna find some big ones, so catch y'all at pond number 74. All right, pond number 638. Oh, Adam. Adam, I got a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. Ah, uh, he'd look four or five, but he doesn't look that. I mean, he's a three pounder. He looked way bigger. He, he did. He felt bigger too. It's still a good fish though. Yeah. Wow. Well, there we go, guys. I finally got me a good one today. I thought he was really big. He looked big, didn't he, Adam? Yeah, when he, he was... looked like he was probably four or five. <laughs> I don't understand why. Something just came up over some bait right there too. All right, we just got out to this place. It's the most unappealing pond that we've been to today. All the other ponds have looked so juicy and then we get <laughs> catch like the best fish. So I don't know, but that's a good fish. Ate the chatterbait. He's good and healthy too. It's a pretty one. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna give him a little toss. There he goes. 